Guess we better get used to the celebrity treatment, huh? Can't blame the fans for wanting a photo of their heroes. But if this is for anything besides your own personal use, then we're legally allowed to charge you. Wait, well... Absolutely! It's just an honor to be able to photograph the Ace Adventurer duo. How does one and a half million more sound? Uh, sure, that sounds fine! Hold up, how much did you say again? One and a half million? Did Paimon hear that right? That's a lot of more for just one photograph! Maybe a little too much. Are we really worth all that? <laughs> you guys are overreacting! This measly one and a half mil is just the start. If you're interested in working with me as a photographer, you could potentially be taking home anywhere up to nine figures! Snap some snaps and stack those stacks. Nine figures? That's... Uh, wait. Uh, every thousand is three figures, plus one for the one, so one million, that's seven, plus two is ten million, a hundred million. A hundred million?! Yeah, this all sounds too crazy even for Paimon to fall for it. What kind of racket are you running here? You planning on flashing a couple of famous faces to con innocent people? Con innocent people? <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. But you gotta get back to front. My goal here is to rid Tavat of everyone out there who's trying to con innocent people. Help me out, and there'll be a big bonus in it for you. Whoa, back up a little. Seems you skipped a couple of steps. How did you get from photography to crime fighting? Problem in law enforcement that often gets overlooked. Target recognition. Common sense says that if Gardamex want to fight crime, the first thing they need to do is identify who's a criminal and who isn't, right? But what happens when a Gardamex mistakes an honest citizen for a criminal, or sees someone brandishing a weapon in public but fails to flag them as a potential threat? Then you've got a huge problem. Think of the poor fisherman whose fishing rod gets mistaken for a spear, or the crafty crook who carries around a metal pipe to club his victims with, but dismissed as a regular plumber. Okay, fair enough. You're kind of making sense now. Great. Okay, so let's say I disguise myself as a cat, or a dog, or a finch, or a pigeon, or maybe even a blubber beast, because why the heck not? Uh, so, I'm walking around the city streets like an escaped amusement park employee, and a Gardamex sees me. How do you think it would respond? Oh, that's cheating! A Gardamex not gonna do anything to some cute little critter! Also, what kind of blubber beast would even want to come to the city anyway? Bingo! Right answer. Gardamex are incapable of registering cats, dogs, finches, pigeons, and of course, blubber beasts as potential targets. Their image recognition system actually ignores. It is actually fairly logical if you think about it. Removing all the near-zero risk entities from the target database boosts performance in most situations. But here's a quote from a recent report in the Steambird. Several keen-eyed thieves who noticed a flaw in the Gardamex detection systems disguised themselves as blubber beasts during the commission of their crimes. Completely blind to the would-be blubber beasts, the Gardamex made no attempt to intervene in the thefts committed by the gang. Wait, so this actually happened? And the Gardamex really didn't catch them? Okay, that's pretty gutsy, but also kind of horrifying. What if they get bored of petty theft and move on to something even worse? They could get away with anything. Exactly! And that's why we have to fight these criminals in the domain of technology. It's turned into an ongoing tug of war between their disguises and our image recognition capabilities. And I, Lapine Pauline, specialist in graph adversarial technology, am determined to do my part towards a crime-free future for Fontaine. 
Currently, I'm in the process of collecting sample images. Once I have a large enough pool, I'll use that to develop a simple but powerful and highly accurate image recognition algorithm that runs on a small graphical processing module. Any clockwork mecha installed with this module will instantly be able to recognize people wearing disguises and accurately assess the criminal threat they pose. And, if all goes to plan, the Palais Mermonia will jump at the chance to have these installed on every Gardamech in the city. It's the business opportunity of a lifetime! Paimon's getting deja vu. Let me guess, you're a homebody researcher who prefers to stick to the city limiting your potential sample size. And the reason you want to work with us is because we can go out into the wild and help you get all the other photos you need, right? Wow! <laughs> right again! Down to the last detail! It sounds like the Ace Adventurer duo has seen it all before. What do you say? Join my project, become a Graph Adversarial Technology Specialist, and together we can expose every costume defender in Fontaine. Crucially, with your help, we can build a solid Graph Adversarial Tech Pipeline and take Fontaine's technology and law enforcement capabilities to the next level. Everybody wins! Hmm... This does sound like it's for a good cause. Forget the moral. We can't stand by and do nothing. There are criminals out there giving Blubber Beast a bad name and that's something Paimon won't stand for! Great! And just like that, welcome to the team! Okay. Take this. It's an image recognition sample collector. It contains recording and analysis equipment that I designed myself, and comes complete with a user guide. I've already looked through lots of images from all over to determine the key features of the samples I'd like to collect. All you need to do is work your way through the guide, get the pictures, and bring them back to me. Simple. Let's get this show on the road, everyone! We must win the tug-of-war against evildoers and score some big-ticket orders from the Palais Mermonia!